Well, Kiwa na yobi, it's Nichi 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 yobi. Today is March 24th, 2024. Sunday, yay, right after Nick's, I guess it's uh, almost close to midnight, still um, still jet lag style, medical metal style, Pacifica, California, 12 miles of San Francisco, yo. <clears throat> Today, um, two things, or, or one one thing that I really wanted to talk about how the temperature of the water affects the growth of the medalkas. Um, but before I do that, I have some sticky notes over here. Um, I have some red cliffs and metal rifts over here, red cliffs over here. Um, but I got this thing over here. Uh, let me try to play with this a little bit. Yeah, it kind of moves around. So I have this uh, DJI Osmo mobile thing that I'm using today. And it kind of rotates like this. And then on the audio, I don't know how it's going to sound like, but it's just like, let me zoom in. Whoa. This wireless lavalier thing going on. Um, so let me try to. That put all aside. All right over here, um, again today, how the temperature affects the growth of the Medaka. That's like. Um, what I want to talk about today, but let me take a look. The best beer of the day is the beer that's all oh man, it's almost noon, not noon, it's almost 12 p.m. So I don't even know what time zone I'm still in. I think I'm kind of like half in Tokyo time zone and then kind of back in Pacific California, San Francisco. Real quick sip, come by Jinju. Oh, you met our kids out there. It's for all you. Oh yeah, that was great. All right, so I put stickies on here. Let me play with this thing. Over here, um, what I did was uh, I had uh, these uh, 20 week year old red cliffs. These are F1s from the, one, uh, the parents that I got um, 2023, August, from uh, Sakura Medaka-san. So this is like the first batch over here. What I did with this first batch over here is for the first two weeks, I had them in a tank um, where I had the temperature set at like 75 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 24 degrees Celsius. After that, I removed them into a tank that had no heater or anything. It was just like room temperature. Room temperature is about um, like... 66 so that's like 20 degrees uh, celsius so since then they've been living in that um in that condition basically and these boys and gals are 20 weeks old All right so now the tank over here the larger one consists of they're all about 12 weeks old plus minus a week or two uh, they are the metal rifts, which are uh, basically, I had the female uh, Midnight Furo Lame, and then I had the Red Cliff Kohaku um, male. And uh, so I have that, and then I have some of the uh, Red Cliffs Kohakus in here as well. But long story short, they are all about like 12 weeks old. I had them in a tank, which had a heater. 75 degrees Fahrenheit, 24 degrees Celsius set the whole time. And they are at this size right now. Let me try to zoom in. Here's a comparison, basically. Um, again, the ones that you see in the larger tank, 20-gallon tank, are the 12-week-olds in a warmer tank, right? Over here. Come on, zoom in for me versus what i have in this specimen container over here they're 20 weeks old again they were put in a uh, room temperature pretty much at 65 degrees fahrenheit 19 degrees celsius so what am i trying to do here man this jet lag thing is killing me um let me just take another real quick sip. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. So before I, well, this all started off for like, okay, I need to consolidate tanks. Um, Minago season is about to come, all that stuff. So I grabbed these uh, 20 week old uh, Red Cliffs uh, Kohakus from a tank. And now I am, I was like, okay, let me just dump all these guys in one tank because they're about the similar size. Um, and that's how this whole thing started today. The other thing that I wanted to mention or um, talk about is why I decided to keep these guys and girls in a room temperature tank. And again, the warmer the temperature, um, right, like I said, 75, 12 weeks, 66, 20 weeks, they're pretty much the same, pretty, pretty, pretty much the same size now. The reason why I like to um, let these guys grow mm -hmm. at this rate, at a slower rate without the temperature, is because with the temperature, their body size grows, right? Their length grows um, fast. But and then if you do that, their internal organs mm -hmm. may not keep up with the growth of their size. So they could get to the size where they could actually start breeding, but their sexual maturity may not be all that there, if that all, if that makes sense. So the organs inside are not um, growing at the same rate as the size. But this way, when you spend 20 weeks at room temperature, a lower temperature, to get them to the size, yeah, they're at the same size pretty much. However, their internal organs are probably growing at the same rate as their body. So at this size, if I bring this water temperature up to uh, probably like about 75 or 24 or 26 degrees Celsius, they'll start mating at this size. And not only are they ready size-wise, but they are ready internally. Their sexual organs have developed. Compared to these guys, I'm not really sure. They have the size, but I don't think their organs are ready. Let me play with this gimbal, um, this DJI thing. Let's me zoom in with the touch of a button over here. I don't know if it's uh, if it's going to focus or whatnot, but it's kind of fun. And I could even like, it, like right now I'm holding my hand still, but if I want to turn to the left, I just swing it to the left. If I want to turn to the right, I just turn to the right. If I want to look down, I just tilt to the bottom. If I want to look up, I just tilt this joystick up. Um, the other thing is I'm using this DJI software to record this today. And I have read that the quality of the video is not as good as just doing a standard Apple. Uh, this is an iPhone. So I'll see, I'll see how that differs. I'm sure with this kind of quality work, it's like, yeah, whatever. But I'm sure it doesn't make a real big difference. But um, And then this Lavier microphone, I don't know how, how the sound is coming through. Um, but again, I just wanted to, since I was removing these boys and gals at Red Cliff, uh, Kohaku's 20 weeks old now. They're ready. Oh, if I raise the temperature, they're going to be ready. So um, into uh, from their tank, room temperature tank, into this tank that has some uh, heater inside that brings the temperature up to 75 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, 24 degrees Celsius. Um, just consolidating. They're at the same size, so nobody is going to get bullied. I do see a bunch of small ones over here. Some of these small ones, it's, it's uh, I don't know if you remember, but I, I did have a satellite system um, where I had a few eggs that kind of hatched, and then I needed to go to Japan, so I just dumped all the fry over here, and they're still alive. Um, they haven't been bullied, I guess, or eaten. Um, and I think that is due to the size of this tank. Again, this is a 20 gallon Aquion tank. Um, plenty of space for these Midakas. So 
that is all I wanted to document today. Again, how the temperature affects the growth of the midakas, and you want to grow them really fast, um, maybe not too fast because of the reason that I talked about their internal organs not developing um, in tangent with the size. Um, but uh, it's, you live and learn, yeah. So let me just take another quick sip. Oh, yeah. All right. So Instagram is, um, DM me on Instagram, Instagram, Medaka Metal, all that stuff. The Metal Medaka today is all you Medaka heads. Um, let me see if I could play with this DJI Osmo Mobile a little bit. Um, let me zoom. Zoom in. All right, these are the uh, Gen 1 Red Cliffs. It's probably the first Gen 1 uh, Red Cliffs in the United States right now. Um, I th I don't know. Maybe there are more, but I know there have been, there was another shipment that came in, but I think these came from the parents that I got um, 2023 August from Sokoro Medoka-san. And then more over here. All right, enough of me. Don't mind you for tuning in. Um, whoa, man! When you get old, jet lag, man, hits you pretty hard. It's hard to recover. It's almost been it's been a week, I guess, today. But uh, look how beautiful that uh, Red Cliff is. I gotta thank Sakura Medoka-san from Japan. Um, orchestrating the whole importing process and all that to get the first reckless here into the United States of America and hopefully um, I could grow these babies out um, and uh, share it with all you Minaka heads out there so don't want to go to we'll do it again next time all right Minaka metal outs man